What up, everybody? Good morning. How you doing? I just want to show you how to install Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing to your particular uh, emulator that you use on your phone or, of course, your Android device. If you want to install it on your iOS device, you just simply need a JP iTunes account, log in, and download the game there. So I'm going to teach you how to do this with the emulator using the QA APK to make this easier for you so you can play a game that's rather fun and strategic, and I like that because it's something different from the current games that I'm playing. So what you want to do is go to apps q-app.com click q app uh, so if depending on your browser it's going to ask if you want to translate but you don't need to you just click, simply click the free installation and then you pick the emulator of choice but i want to make sure you know this you're going to have to you're going to have to time skip into japan time because it's not really friendly to um, um united states time or any other time frame for that matter so if you want everything to be on point on time with the events you have to time skip which i'll show you later in the video how to do that so all you're going to do now is click your emulator and look for your apk click your apk obviously look for your q app click the q app let q app install find q app on your device click q app let it open up uh, it just had an update to it so mine's going to ask you to log in but i'm not going to right now all right i don't know see it's some extra stuff right there so what you're going to do now is you're going to look for Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing. You're going to have to find the little Naruto because the big Naruto is for Naruto Shinobi Collections. And you don't want to, I mean, you could play that game. It's really fun, but I don't, I, I mean, I don't have time for it. You know, check it out. It's pretty cool, honestly. So you're going to click that. And mine says open, obviously, because I already have it installed. You click install, and then you're going to see a black screen. It's going to ask you for permission. You obviously click OK. Then it's going to ask you if you want to open it or you want to close it. Or if you're done with the installation, you're going to pick whatever you're going to pick. You can open it from QAP or you can click done and then open the game yourself. So once you've done that, uh, you could close QAP or you can leave it open. Like I said, you can open the game from there. You can look for your Naruto game, which I can't. There it is. And click it. Let it open up. And seriously, that is it. It is, it is truly, truly that simple. So you let Rock Lee do his little jump rope while he loads up. The load times aren't that bad. They're really not. I, I just this is making it look really sad right now, but it's okay. We get to watch Rock Lee work out real quick. Oh, for some reason I had the sound turned off. <laughs> so there's the sound. I already logged in for the day, so I got my bonuses. I'm just gonna let it log in real quick. And I'm gonna show you. That's that skipping rope. It's pretty cool. Alright, now I'm logged in. So what you have to do is in order to get the ramen event, the haku event, the scrolls event on time, so there's no issues, is is time skip like you're actually in Japan. So we're gonna do that by simply going in to our settings. So you go to your settings, you scroll down to your date and time, you find the selected time zone, and all you have to do is find GMT plus nine, which is Japanese standard time. And on the emulator for Blue Stacks, it is called Osaka, Tokyo, which is Tokyo, Japan. Hopefully you understand that and you don't mess that up. But you just click that. I'm not going to click that because I already have it set. And you're done. And then you can actually play Naruto on time. All the events for scrolling and ramen. Because ramen is only an hour a day, three times a day. So it's really kind of, it's not hard, but it's kind of tedious to farm these ramen. Uh, the first week will actually have a rainbow ramen that drops a multitude of, of different ramen, so you'll be okay. And same thing for the scrolls as well. Haku event is not here yet. It's it's actually after the first set of events. It's about the, it's the third event, honestly. So don't worry about that too much. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you enjoy the game. Get ready for global because we just have pre-registration. Happened today. Uh, most likely we'll see the global version in about 10 days. And then we can start playing on there, which again, I will be streaming at... Joe underscore A is an Apple, 7 A is my Twitch. You can catch videos for this on my my YouTube, Distorted Pride, and you can hit me up on Twitter if you want for any anything you want, you know, news, posting what you summoned, etc. on uh, my Distorted Pride Twitter. And I'll see you guys later, alright? I hope this video was helpful. Peace.